Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I like that you mentioned institutions because uh, you'll be surprised that you can go and work as a metallurgist alongside someone who studied at TUT and you earn the same amount. Uh, sometimes we think that when you study at VETS, because I'm from VETS, I must be any more. Yeah. VETS is a top quality university, you know. But the reality is most univers- most companies, uh, even if you go to a bank, <laughs> they're just going to say, we like VETS graduates, but they don't want to be like, we're going to give you more because you studied at VETS. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So that's the unfortunate part. So... Uh, yeah, I'm saying unfortunate because that means we suffer. That's the reality. We suffer, honestly, compared to a TUT. So, in a nutshell, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you feel like you you're not sure that you can handle the pressure at VETS, go to TUT. You're still gonna earn the same money as me. Uh, you you just might not be. There's certain things you're not gonna have, unfortunately. Uh, the way you speak, the way you communicate, uh, the way you solve problems is not going to be the same, unfortunately. Uh, but in terms of knowing the technical work, mm. mostly the technical work, and this is what I've heard about TUT students, I mentioned TUT specific. <laughs> they know the work, um, the physical work, they, 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 they understand engineering, I think maybe because it's a technical university. Yeah. They understand engineering proper than vets which exposes more to a lot of theory exposes you to because vets is a bachelor in science that's another thing so at vets there's certain courses like we learn critical thinking you're doing psychology you're doing UT there's no sad they're not doing psychology they're not doing philosophy uh why are you gonna use those why are you gonna use those like uh, let's say uh, uh, psychology in, in in engineering out of curiosity psychology specifically uh yeah i'm, I'm, I'm just talking people. the I'm, behavior I'm, you understand the behavior of people because remember psychology is about understanding the behavior so the reason why i like the first degree is because in a way, the engineering itself, in a way, you're taught to be a leader. I oh, can tell you. okay. In okay, a I way, now. it has uh, an element of leadership in it. Because when you think of understanding psychology, you need to understand the behavior of people. Critical thinking in philosophy. Yeah. You need to think tri- critically. You need to think outside the box. Um, you need, you know, There are certain things that people say and somebody says you shouldn't have said that. Do you know the guy called Jordan Peterson? Yeah, I I, 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 I watch him quite a lot sometimes. So Jordan Peterson will say the truth, which unfortunately is very uncomfortable and sounds either sexist or wrong. Yeah. But the reality is it's a fact, right? So now the problem is if you're working, let's say you're working, when you studied critical thinking and philosophy, you can critically understand what he's saying without putting your emotions, without saying, you shouldn't say that. Sure. Like, for example, we know you shouldn't say somebody's fat. It's not a right thing to say. Sure. Right? But if you say it, it's a fact. So somebody can say, hey, I couldn't win this race because it was tough. And then somebody says, but no, it's because you are fed and you don't work out. It's a very sad truth and difficult, but it's the reality. Sure. So when you study critical thinking, when you think critically, you're able to say, okay, fine, I understand what this person is saying. They shouldn't say it though. Yeah. But I understand what they're saying. So such things, it's very important to, to learn how to think critically, to understand things despite what the community or the society is saying, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, Jordan Peterson, hey, he has been ca- catching so much fire about the things that he yeah. he says and, 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 and stuff. And uh, yeah. maybe we are just not prepared to, to hear those kind of things. Sometimes I like to think about it like no. that, to be like, 
I think we I, I think so too. We, we 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 and maybe it's because of our human nature and that's where maybe psychology comes in because I think as people Absolutely. generally we don't like being kind of undermined or feeling like no we are being yes. overlooked and 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 stuff. like you can say to me that no but you're a bad lecturer maybe I am but I just don't <laughs> want to hear that like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe I am. Maybe I'm saying yeah. the truth. But you know, we just we just just So 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 then I see how you know probably this uh, the, the 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 degrees in 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 research intensive universities like vet and stuff also prepares you guys to be versatile into yeah. going into other yeah. disciplines because I think yeah, you, the vet one is versatile. I'm, I'm telling you, Doc, because we do even, uh, we do project management. What? We do, yeah, there's a bit of project management when you're doing your final year. Uh, you understand how to accelerate a project, something called project acceleration. My goodness. You understand a, a bit of accounting. There's a bit of accounting that we do there. Um, I'm telling you, it's versatile. The vets, it's, it's absolutely versatile. No doubt about that. So if someone wants to choose between a traditional university like a research intensive like your vets and stuff and a technical university like your TUTs, VUTs, Universities of Technologies and they want to do metallurgy and they're like, I don't know if I should do it here or here. What, where can you recommend they do this? No, I recommend uh, vets or the, the ones that are not too technical. And the reason behind that is because sometimes you don't know where you're going, like me. You don't know if you're going to like, um, yeah. you don't know if you're going to like metallurgy. Now, imagine you're in a situation where you were in the tech, you, you went to the one in TUT. Um, as a result, it didn't equip you with skills of critical thinking, like I said, psychology. Mm. It wasn't as versatile enough. It's too specific. Mm. It's, it's too confined. That's what the one in TUT gives you. So mm. I would say the vets one because it will open more opportunities it for is. you. Yeah. Ah, man, I think we've said a mouthful, man. I, I, but I... at the end of the day, even though it's the case, uh, Ben, like I said, when we get into the industry, if, let's say, if you do decide to work as a metallurgist, Ah, man, we gotta make the same money. Uh, at some point, you might make even more than me. Um, yeah. So, if we both work as metallurgists, then then you're good. But if you decide you don't like metal, you don't want to work at metal anymore, then maybe you are a little bit screwed. Just a little bit, not too much. Just yeah. 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 